This is our latest uh, development. It's a so-called uh, pentaband antenna, where we integrate uh, in total five bands into one antenna. That means there is five uh, array of dipoles in it, and that means it gives the operator more flexibility to install or to expand their networks. They uh, can run their 900 megahertz system as well, the 800. And what's really new is that the low band is going down to 700 megahertz. That means when the new frequencies for 700 megahertz will be uh, released for the mobile networks, they are future proof with this kind of, uh, of antenna. It includes four bands for the high band. So especially for the LTE rollouts, you have LTE rollouts in 1800 megahertz and also in uh, 2600 megahertz. So you are flexible here as well. And you have one, two, three, four bands in the antenna. So you can use it for MIMO performance as well uh, for 1800 and for 2600 megahertz. Uh, additionally, this antenna has five uh, red interfaces so you can uh, adjust the electrical down tilt for each band separately. So you have full flexibility, each band can be adjusted individually. Where is this uh, produced? Uh, this antenna, I mean, we have just started production. The first uh, samples are currently produced in Germany, in our main factory. Uh, depending on the demand and on the volumes, there is the possibility also to shift it to our Romanian factory in Timisoara. Do you have some estimation about the production? Uh, you mean about the volumes? Uh, well, the initial demand for this antenna, we are talking about uh, a few thousand pieces right now. And uh, I mean, assuming that uh, one antenna takes around about one day to produce, you can imagine what kind of uh, uh, pr production capacity is required to really fulfill this big demand for this specific antenna. Uh, could you please mention the regions that uh, requires more such type of antennas? The first region which requested this kind of antenna is uh, Australia because here we have a unique situation as they already have the, uh, those bands for 700 megahertz and for 900. Uh, other regions might be the Middle East region and uh, most probably also the uh, United States or the North American market will follow later on. Uh, could you please estimate if this type of antenna is going to represent a large amount from your entire volumes of antennas? Uh, no, I think it will be a complementary product. So in the future, I think it's a general trend that you include more and more bands into one antenna. So I think in the, in the long run, I guess uh, this antenna will really increase the volumes and will for sure take away the volumes from existing or legacy antenna products. We have here another solution that you are uh, developing together with Ericsson. Could you please give us some more details about this project? Okay, this is our latest uh, cooperation with Ericsson we have right now. And uh, well, the technology behind is, uh, I think in the meantime, well known, where we integrate the, let's say, the active part, the radios from Ericsson into our antenna part. So it's one unit which includes the antennas as well as the active parts, uh, the radios from Ericsson. And uh, officially this is an Ericsson product uh, and Katrain is doing, well, the R&D for the antenna part and we are also doing the manufacturing for Ericsson. Where exactly are you using this solution? Uh, I mean, the first uh, project where we are using this antenna right now, where Ericsson has won a project, is uh, in the United States with uh, T-Mobile US. So, where we have ramped up uh, production significantly during uh, mid of last year, and where we have really fulfilled the requirement from the operator. And, uh, well, we delivered everything in time. So, uh, this was really a very successful first project for the air product.